Welcome, Achievers. This is your spoiler cast for 12 minutes. Yes. Of course, released. We don't want to try to make the spoiler cast 12 minutes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go. God, we should. God, no. We should. <laughs> now, released a few days ago, me and Alex played a lot of it very quickly to try and get on top of this. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game for basically six years. Um, because I actually watched like the first Let's Play of it, which was on Kind of Funny six years ago. Um, so this has been yeah, in I development for a very long time. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a fun fact: six years ago. Let's get into this, Alex. Yes. Twelve minutes we played mm-hmm. and completed it. This is, of course, a spoiler cast. So we'll be talking everything about the game. This is a story-driven game, so. Basically going to spoil the entire game for you. So if you haven't listened or watched the game, or if you just don't care and you just want to listen to us talk, then stick with us if you don't want to be spoiled. And come back when you beat it. All right, let's go. This is a very strange game. Very. I can't tell you if I liked it or not. I think I did. Right? I... I know I liked it because I thousanded it. <laughs> <laughs> so you thousanded it. I got half the achievements. I still need to get the rest. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely dreading it because after a while, clicking this thing and clicking on this thing and clicking on that's that how thing, it was it's, yesterday. It's a little old. I thousanded it today, but that's how I felt yesterday. And yeah, it did. It did feel like that at, at some points. So I want to talk. About, I don't this. I want to talk about the cast before we get into whatever this game was. Okay. Willem Dafoe as the cop, the man that's mm-hmm. going after you. Mm-hmm. Daisy Ridley as your wife, or her, who's been called that later. And then mm-hmm. you are James McAvoy, whose voice is you. Yes. What did you think about the voice acting? I honestly thought it was fine. It was hard to tell that they, they were those actors other than Willem Dafoe because he has a distinct voice. Yeah, Willem the Dafoe other two, does not hide who he is. He's very Yeah, Willem no. Dafoe. The other two, honestly, James McAvoy, he sounded like Sam Witwer. I th- mm. Like, it sounded a lot like it. And then Daisy Ridley's character, uh, at some points it sounded like her. But, like... The the voice acting was it wasn't amazing, but it it was no, it pretty. Wasn't. It was it was it was pretty good. But these are me. all very acclaimed actors, and that mm-hmm. is what stood out to me. Now, voice acting is not acting; it's not the same thing. But it did seem like, especially in some scenes and sound bites, that they needed mm-hmm. direction because they were not being directed properly. Because they were not conveying the emotions that were needed for that scene. So there's a lot of weird mm-hmm. stuff in the game that just that just pointed out to me in several scenes, especially when you have a one soundbite of like what or uh, okay and well, what is that? So, like that never came across mm-hmm. as like compelling. It was always really weird when he would just say o- okay. L- it's listen, definitely sir like it's now, it's definitely bad. hard to it's hard to um, uh, you you have you can't see their expressions on their face. You can't. So it's so it's kind of hard to like l- visualize the expressions and while well, them doing them. So it's mm. it's like it's not their fault fully. <laughs> no, no, but you, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to get a reaction yeah. without seeing someone's face, and especially just seeing the top mm. of their head half the time. Yeah, like um, you, did you like, ever see them sit yeah. on the couch and talk to each other? Hmm. <laughs> that was real bad. Because <laughs> cause if you just sit on a couch and they talk to each other, they're just doing this. For audio yeah. listeners, I am just shoving my Not head back head. and forth because that's what they're doing to show that they're talking is just doing this. And I was like, God, this. there's some points in the game where I'm like, this is not a good animation for this at all. Yeah. I mean, did you look through the people to see the cop? I told, yes, I did, Alex. Oh, my God. I was like, I guess this is what a peephole looks like, but this is not modeled correctly. Also, if you're going to show off the character in the very beginning of the game, maybe don't make him look like, you know, the end of Venom <laughs> when that guy has a raggedy Ann doll's wig on. What's his name? 
Uh, the, the guy who's Carnage. Carnage? Cletus Cassidy? Yeah. Cletus Cassidy? Well, the actual actor's name. Oh, oh, Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. He looked like Woody Harrelson with that terrible wig on in the, in the mirror of the elevator. He looked like he had a redhead. Oh, it it yeah. looked bad. His model yeah. looked bad as my so Yeah, that, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. If you're going to show off your character model, maybe really fine-tooth comb that. And if you're not, mm-hmm. just don't show it, because that looked real bad. I saw that several times. Yeah, I don't know what the point of the seeing the model if we never see it again. Yeah, you never see it again. I, I don't know. Maybe it's too cheap. So you know what he looks like. You're a little closer to the character. Maybe. It didn't work for me. But yeah. let's not delay it any longer. I want to talk about the story. Yes. So the story is, of course, in loops. And you experience loops over and over again every time you die or fail a mission. I wouldn't say fail, but if you wait too long or if you just walk out of the apartment, the day loops again. Roughly, how long did it take you to get used to the mechanic? Still not used to it. Yeah, I'm either. I'm still not super used to it. I don't. I've played a good bit of point and clicks. Uh, my dad, mm. my dad showed a lot of the ones he liked. It's not even. It's okay, It's not even a point and click. It's a. It's a point grab drag. <laughs> it's not a point click and then click it here to 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 connect it. Yeah. You drag the shit. And it to doesn't work great. To be specific. It doesn't work great all the time either. It's a little buggy. It's a bunch mm-hmm. of stuff that's like not great. But yeah. anyways. So. I liked the beginning. It does, it does get you interested. I think mm-hmm. the middle part of the game up until the middle part is really fun to try and figure out what's going on. Yeah. So, for instance, when he's originally getting to you, it's scary. I did feel scared when he was coming to get me. It was, it was yeah. tense. Anytime I would hear the elevator, the ding, elevator. Ding, you're like, oh, you're God, like, he's oh, coming. He's coming. He's All coming. right, I got to see what, what am I going to do this time? I'm, am I going to get a knife? All right, let's try a knife. See if I can stab and shake this man to death. Never works, but you still try Never it. Never works. Yep. My favorite part, I honestly was questioning him, shooting mm-hmm. him in the leg and like, hey, you got to talk to me. So he, he sits there and he, you learn about his daughter and the cancer treatment and why he needs to watch in the first place. And then when, when the story starts unfolding, the more you learn, the weirder it gets. <laughs> Did you see the twist is what I'll call it in, in, in quotes coming? Not at first. What clicked off? Um, what, what was the point where you're like, Fucking his sister. What what point did that make you say that? When I got, once I had the baby clothes and I knew what about the baby clothes. Yeah. When you get the cop to be nice and actually talk to you, and he's like, "Oh, what's the name? Annie's name?" He's like, "Oh, something flowery." I'm like, <gasps> you know, and he because he kept saying he kept like something flowery, and he was like Daphne, Daisy, and I'm like. Oh, no. Yeah, so we can start there. So this whole game essentially is revolving around this character, I guess. I Tell me if you interpreted this any different way, but okay. the way you end the game is mm-hmm. how you start the game. Did you notice that? So the way you end the game is mm-hmm. to get full credits, and, and maybe you didn't have it because there's multiple endings in this game, Achievers. Mm-hmm. If you go to the ending where you look at the watch and you sit there and you look at the watch and you go back to, I guess, him talking to his dad, which turns out to be Willem Dafoe's character. It, which is weird which, because I don't know if that's, I don't know. They made it seem like it's Willem Dafoe. It's weird. Yeah, they slowly transform him because because he's still the voice actor, but he has hair. And then when you mm-hmm. go back to it, he doesn't have hair and he's clearly the same character. And he gets yeah. more and more like him the more you go back to it. And then if you want to close the game, you have to like click on the book and then that he says mm-hmm. something and then you have to sit there and then he hypnotizes you. And then he yeah. brings uh, up... Is it hypnotizing you making you forget, maybe? So that was my point. It, is this game... His mind... Trying to re re like re, reconnect his memory to yeah, remember to remember this. Maybe maybe he like. Hmm, it's weird. It's like uh, it's like his mind knew that he was about to get screwed. So he's and so the time. I wonder if the 
I wonder what created the time loop. Like, was it his mind or was it the actual event of, you him know, finding out him, him finding out or uh, like, or I mean, like as the cop and coming to kill him. So his mind goes, just like, oh, God, like, I wonder what created the event. Yeah, I what I assume is nothing we're doing is actually happening. And he's he's just in his head trying to forget that he is in love with his sister maybe I, and... honestly at one point i thought it would it was like this was him all of this is happening while he's getting hypnotized and it takes 12 minutes for him to get hypnotized and all these time loops is in his head as he's getting hypnotized and i don't know hmm huh. Yeah, like, like he's trying to like, like as he's getting hypnotized, like he's telling him it's like, uh, like, like he's thinking, like he's thinking it was like, oh, these are all the possible outcomes that could happen if you get caught. Mm. So like he has twelve minutes of hypnosis, and like that's all circulating on many loops until he fi- until he finds the the trigger one, and I get I don't know, it's it's weird. No, no, I I'm be I'm be honest, I like your reasoning. It's just, mm-hmm. it's one of the games where I don't think we're supposed to know, which is. Yeah. You know, either you like that or you don't. Excuse me. Um Do you have a preferred preferred ending? There's a lot of endings. There's the weird alone one, there's the one where you is a really weird one where you portray the wife. Oh my god, that was This yeah, is a lot. This game is, gets really It like, was pretty dark. rough. This game gets really dark. Like super yeah. dark. With a lot of stuff. Did you ever kill yourself with a gun? Yes, I killed My myself God. with the gun, and I stabbed myself. First before. off, I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to shoot the the cop in the head to reset. I was seeing if it was gonna reset it, but I accidentally mm-hmm. pointed it to his head, and he walks out the room, puts a gun to his throat, and shoots it. But he doesn't kill himself. He it, it, he well, shoots it, it, out of he shoots out of the side slowly, of his head. Like... Yeah, he he shoots out the side of his head. So he's he doesn't kill himself. He's he's mm-hmm. he just shoots out part of his head so he's sitting there bleeding out freaking out trying to find the gun to shoot himself again like this game is super dark in a lot of ways mm-hmm. and even like, which is funny saying that the game about banging your sister and having a baby is dark but it is i mean this it, game, yeah so this this has caused huge i wouldn't want to say i don't know i wouldn't say problems but twitter has has a lot of uh video game people have been dogging on this game for i mean pretty good reason because mm-hmm. i think it's a weak game you said you enjoyed it a little more so i think you're a little more hype a uh, little you're a little more positive than i mm-hmm. would say because it's, uh, for one i i sort of understood where the twist was coming and then two i don't think the twist is interesting three if you're gonna have a complicated story you have to you have to make it clear that either you're not supposed to know the ending or you have to you have to get inventive with how you're going to tell the story in a way where it's not going to be clear but you're still satisfied with the ending. The ending I got mm-hmm. it was like, okay, I think I understand the game, but again, maybe I'm not supposed to, I don't know. I mean, it, it makes me think, I guess, which is probably what he wants. I don't know. Hideo Kojima really yeah. liked it. He tweeted about it. Mhm. No, I, I I enjoyed it. Uh, like, but it was very confusing at times and then very frustrating when you're like okay i need to do this and then you try to do something and it just reverts to this to your same outcome and i was like what the f-? yeah, yeah. Like, why specifically i i i didn't love the like ways to get some of the stuff which is really weird yeah and some of the setups are a little strange like the uh like how you have to keep uh, telling the wife the same stuff. I wish, I wish you could fast forward more. Um, yes. Oh my god. I like wish you, you could just listen, skip all that. Yeah, you have to listen to the same stuff a lot, which I get it. Time loop, uh, but like yeah. you should be able to fast forward maybe a little bit faster so you can really like churn these like, things out. But yeah, like there's fast forward. Like you know when you get into the closet, and it's like now we wait, and it does the fast forward. I wish you That's could just good, but... do that yourself. Yeah, me too. Um. But yeah, but yeah, is there a specific point in the game that you really liked? Is there something that stands out to you? Uh, it could be a story, any achievement thing that you did that you really liked. I 
I liked that you can interrogate the cop. That was really fun. I liked getting to know him more mm-hmm. uh, with his side of the story because it was honestly it was a little unique. I thought he was just some dude that wanted to like do something very specific, but it but it at least has mm-hmm. a reason behind it with him trying to save his daughter and stuff. So it is a little cool. It is a little strange that all you have to do is call the daughter to tell to for the daughter to talk him out of it. I was like, it seems like he's gonna kill us viciously. Is Did you ever tell her that you're the murderer? Did, I tell Did you ever say that? Did you ever tell Bumblebee that you are the killer? No. No? It gave me that option, but I never did. Oh, never you never did it? it? Oh, okay, I was like, yeah. oh, is some crazy shit happened? But I don't know. I, 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 I was wondering if you didn't. No, no, I, I never got that option. Maybe I, maybe if I did now, I would see it, but I never saw mm-hmm. it like the times I called Bumblebee. Yeah. It's probably nothing. She's probably like, uh, you're a weirdo and just hangs up. Which is mm-hmm. how, which is, I think what you, I think what happens when you hit my days restarting? Because she's like, what? And it just hangs the phone. Yeah. Um, I, at first, I thought it was hell. That was my first yeah. inclination of the game when I was playing. I was like, he did something bad, and he's having to deal with this, and this is his personal hell. Like he's mm-hmm. in hell, and he's like playing the twelve minutes over and over. And he can't do anything, and maybe at the end he finds out, like he's in hell, and then it all restarts again, and like he just he's sitting here because he did some awful shit in his life. Mm. That was I, my that was my thing. The ending I enjoy is kind of the one where he gets kicked out, <laughs> and then the wife is like, "Just get out." Yeah, just but get out. When I kind of you tell him everything. I kind of do wish though he like you know he was hypnotized, so it's not like he knew that he was banging his sister. I'm not gonna lie. So like, I wish there was a way to, to be like, "Yeah, I That's did still love not you." Clear though, right? Like, yeah, like, like I, are we even witnessing reality? That's that's like, my biggest. It's thing. weird. Is this even happening? Because I don't think it is. I don't think anything yeah. we just did in whatever reality you want to fucking call that place even happened. Why? Why we only never... twelve minutes? Why only twelve minutes? It's a great question. Is it because of the hypnosis thing you brought up? Is it because mm. that's that's what the time it took for him to like try? I don't. I don't know. Really, the hypnotism thing makes, I feel like, almost the most sense. That's his... Mm-hmm. But it, I don't know. One of the theories of the game, which I, I thought of as well, this person was a little more thorough with it, but I was just reading just theories of what people think about the game, and someone brought up a thing with me, saying, like, maybe it's his brain. There was two things. Maybe it was either his brain trying to figure out... Like, trying to comprehend what happened. Like, oh, you're in lo- like, love with your sister, so, like, this is him trying to cope with that or something and, like, trying to f- figure out what happened to get him to this point. Or this is his... Um, so, it, this, this I don't think is real, but the hypnotism happened, but... This is weird, but the hypnotism happened, but they... St- found each other anyways not knowing about the other one like yeah because they said it was very pers- like they said when they met at the party or whatever they were or i think it was that he said it was at the party um at the new year's eve party they were like he was very persistent on meeting her i'm like how did he find her did he say that there was or the 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 woman said is like oh yeah. you know when when I met it was like before she knew everything uh-huh. it's like oh uh, she was telling you about the new year's eve party she was telling you about like she was telling you about like what she did to her dad. She oh, left yeah, yeah. and she came back and she said she wanted I think she was trying to be alone for a while. She wasn't trying to be with anybody and then she was like but he came along and he was very persistent on being with her. And I'm like, "Why? How did he how did he find her?" Like that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like it's weird. I don't know. And also like I wonder if maybe the hypnosis was uh, the hypnosis was like forgetting that he killed anybody and he but he knew her so he followed her well like if, he forget- well if he was hypnotized isn't it by the same person because the guy that's hypnotizing him is the dad right cuz it says father when you go over that's that, true that character so yeah that's true so is is that like he like did he even really kill him like that's what's even that's... weirder see the problem with the game is you don't know if it doesn't explain one of the problem, anything well, what, one of the problems of the game is we don't know if anything we did is real which 
if you're going to do that, you have to be very clever. Or Which feels, reality is or feels, Exactly. Or it feels unfulfilled. And I feel very unfulfilled. I don't feel anything. Yeah. When you when your twist is incest, it's not it's not that compelling of a thing, right? And mm -hmm. and then it, like it's a double twist. Then you find out he's the one that killed the dad the whole time, even though you thought it was first. You thought it was the wife. Then you thought it was uh the. I thought it was the nanny at one point. The nanny. I mean, I did. I think everyone thought it was okay. Well, the nanny killed him because that's the classic murder trope. Yeah. Then you were like, maybe the mother did because she found out about the affair. Nope. Mm -hmm. And then are like, oh, it was the it was the kid of the nanny that. It's the bastard son. Does the bastard son because the nanny died and then the dad reached back out to the kid and then I guess that kid came back. God, it's so. Maybe to make it make you maybe more sense that maybe uh, the we don't have an what's his name again? Who the main character? What's his name again? Oh my god! Um... Yeah, I forgot already. I. Unimportant. Anyways, do they say? I don't know. Achievers, please. They don't say. Don't they know. don't. They don't say name. If you they want, just say. If you they can... just say that the kid, is, the kid, his name is, uh, or the mother's name is Dahlia. The kid is referred to as the monster. Then there's the father. Then there's the wife. The wife, I don't know the name. Um, and then the husband. That's it. There is no names. Huh. The only person who has a name is the nanny, Dahlia. Huh. Yeah. I I just realized that. Yeah. There's no one, and nobody has names but Dahlia, which is the nanny, which is, wasn't even in the game. Huh. S maybe that has something to do with all this then? And technically does... the baby is named Dahlia too. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, wow, that fucking! I just never thought about that. I don't know why I didn't. Why don't any? Why doesn't anyone have names? Nobody said know. any names. Or oh, oh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee has a name, but I don't know if that's a nickname. Yeah, that sounds like a nickname. Mm -hmm. And it's just the, and then he's just called the cop. Like, oh god. But he's not I, a cop, though. No, he's clearly not a cop. But he's, he's even like though a you know, you, even though you know he's not a cop, you still call him cop, which is weird. Yeah, like it's he's clearly not a policeman, sir. <laughs> like, why are yeah. we still doing this? Do you think it was interesting that at the end of the game you don't call her wife, you call her her? She is now her instead. Really? Yeah, you didn't notice. Mm -mm. Yeah, so once you do the weird loop thing where, like, you basically figure out like you're you're the murderer guy. Mm -hmm. Her when you scroll over to to her, she is just now her she's not wife she's just oh her. wow yeah again maybe that has something to do with it maybe this dude's just super obsessed with this chick and he and she's not even involved and like he's trying to get like hypnotized on like basically like let's not like let's see if you can forget this so you don't do this anymore mm. i don't know man this is a weird fucking game <laughs> this might be i was i was actually talking to rebecca I, i'm curious what you think this literally might be the strangest game I have ever played in every manner of the word, in every single <laughs> weird sense of the word. And it's weird how the game is set up. It's weird that, first off, why did we get three major celebrities that aren't voice actors to voice act the game? That's also weird. Third, the storytelling yeah. is weird. The twist is weird. How we get to the twist is weird. And why does no one have names? <laughs> Which I feel like is tied to something. It's crazy because Annapurna is always the, like always makes crazy games like this. Like they had What Remains of Edith of Edith Finch. That was a great game. Mm -hmm. They, uh, play they made What Outer Remains Wild. if you didn't play that. They made Sayonara Wild Hearts, Outer Wilds. Fantastic like, game as well. All those three games. Play them, please. Yeah. If you have like, a choice, was... play those three games over this. Even though you're watching a spoiler cast, so you obviously have played it already. But if you haven't, go play those games. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, they should, <laughs> they should have explained more. 
if you're not going to explain more, you, you have to have more nuance to the story. I feel mm-hmm. like we're beating a dead horse out. Did you like the game? Yes, I enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. So you enjoyed it. So you would, you'd recommend it to someone if someone asked, like, should I play the game? It's easy for us because we didn't buy it. It's Game Pass. If you have it, if you if if it's on, if you have it on Game Pass, try it. It's the game's worth twenty five dollars. I don't think so. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I would pay twenty five bucks. No, if I would was like, say wait for like, sale. It, yeah, I would I would wait for a fifteen, maybe ten or fifteen, maybe, but not twenty five. Not twenty five. Twenty five. I think I need a, a more, you know, signif- uh, like tell me what happened. Yeah. I, I get what you were about to say, like significance. Like, Thank like you, yes. I, I think this is one of the games where I'll remember it being weird, but I won't be touched by it at all. Like nothing of nothing that happened during this whole game touched me in a way that I will remember it or I mean it definitely I mean, touched me in a weird way. That too. Like why incest? Of all things. Right? Like of all the story tropes you can do. You like out of the whole incest. thing, the only thing that I was worried about, I'm like, in one of the loops, the kid gets kicked because the the mother gets kicked in the stomach. I'm like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, th- like yes. I said, it gets really dark. It's hard to watch some of the stuff. I had to like, oh my like, god, like literally, like there are some things I was like, oh my god, can this like hurry up? Like I don't want to watch this happen. And like, then you the, get choked out because it takes and, forever. And then he when he talks to her to make her shoot herself, like she grabs her hand. He's like, hey, just deep breath, and he fuck he shoots her in the face. Bro, like, this game is fucked up a lot. Before you get to the incest, let alone when you're talking about two people banging each other. I was going to tweet out, um, I was going to make a joke about Game of Thrones in 12 minutes, but I don't want to spoil <laughs> the game, but I was going to make a, a Game of Thrones yeah, joke. Yeah, fucking Cersei and Jamie. Yeah, I feel like it's, I feel like it's low-hanging fruit. It's, I feel like it's too easy, so I, I, I let it go. And I didn't want to spoil the game. It's still early. But I I tweeted out when I beat the game. I I literally tweeted mm-hmm. out. I finished twelve minutes and I just put I get it. I get why everyone had an issue. I get why everyone hated the twist. There was oh, one sure. person that I follow that said this is the worst game he has ever played. I get it. If this does not jive with you, I definitely understand that. Because this was a fucking weird game. It's a weird game. Thank you so much for joining me for this, Alex. I congrats on the thousand. I heard it's a bitch. I, I might do it. I don't know. I can't guarantee you. But oh, that's you asked me earlier. What's my favorite like achievement thing? The most annoying achievement to me was my favorite achievement was the flower one, the blooming one. Really, that was because, your favorite. Why? Because it was the most tedious, and it actually made me want to continue to do it. Like as much as as much as tedious as it was, I was like, I'm gonna get this trophy or achievement just because how annoying it is. Okay, I I, I get it. There's sometimes where like I have to do this. I literally had to <laughs> kill myself 15 times. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, fucking so annoying. What but... did you think about 12 minutes, Cheevers? It is quite the divisive game. You either like it or you hate it. I am indifferent <laughs> i didn't love it i didn't hate it i think it's a weird ass game especially with everything about it and again this has been been in development for like six plus years so this i'm and no offense i don't mean this in a mean way but like this is what you have like this is this out of all that I, mean, I mean they've made so much good stuff they had gone home yeah i but mean the, either finch uh, like Annapurna is the developer, though, so uh, you can't really. That's not the same thing. I mean, I like, guess. Yeah. Do you think uh, when when he was pitching it to Annapurna to to for them to develop, they're like, he's like, hey, it's a time loop. Oh, okay, cool. Like, and what what's the end? And like, oh, well, you figure out that well, one, you killed uh, you killed that your father. <laughs> Two, you, the whole time you've been fucking your sister and you didn't know it, or maybe you did. I don't know. I think he knew. Who who cares? Anyways, it's a time loop over and over again. And uh, oh, the dad is also the cop that is breaking into the house. Um, sometimes he kills you. Sometimes he kills the wife. Sometimes he slowly murders her in front of you. Sometimes he he slowly murders you in front of her. You know, it's it's a quirky game. Uh, anyways, like, you enjoyed Gone like, Home, right? This is kind of like that. They're like, no, 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 no. 
what's the ending? What happens at the end? <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. you must have not heard me. Uh, you so you get to this time loop thing, and you're talking about this fa- father, and then there's a bookshelf behind you. You have to click on the book, and then that, and then that's gonna trigger a, a talking sequence that starts that starts the time loop again, and he's getting hypnotized. Maybe the hypnotism's in his head the whole time. I don't know. Like this dude might might have probably was on cocaine the whole time he made this game. Maybe I don't know. I mean. It's crazy because I'm like, okay, oh, okay, this is the, what's the developer? One person. I'm like, no <laughs> studio? Was it really one guy? It was just, I mean, well, there was just one name. I don't know if he worked with other people. I think it was one guy. Yeah, so I mean, like, I mean, hey, I gave him props. I can't make a game. No, no, no. Hey, I, I will always respect Except someone I who enjoy goes, the game. I will always respect someone who makes art. Doesn't mean I have to like it. I always respect the person. Though. Yep. So good on you. Um, why incest, though? I'm really curious. I'd love to talk to him. He will. He'll maybe never. He'll never do another interview again, probably, because he will probably get torn apart. But I would love maybe, for him to ask someone to be it. Maybe because answer. everybody hates. Everybody hates it so. Everybody hates it so much that like they're. Like, he's like, what can I put that everybody hates so much, but they can't fight figure it out till the end of the game. <laughs> You won't know until you beat it, fucking losers. Yep. <laughs> and he like gets in his Corvette and drives away. Oh, this is quite the game, Achievers. Let us know what you thought. What did you think was the ending? What did you think how it all went down? Do, like, give us your best theories. I need to know because I'm honestly very curious what people thought about this game. I think I'm gonna read more theories about the game. Or maybe yeah, I'll just never I, I, look at this again and keep playing Hades. Who knows? Come Who on, knows? Hey. Come on, you're not gonna get that thousand like I did. Thank you, you so much. So, thank you, you for fifteen so, times for <laughs> Thank you plus. so much for joining us. Remember, we do these spoiler casts every time we find a delicious game that me and Alex partake in, and we talk it through with you. And we are making this show with you, not for you, with you. So remember patreon.com slash you achievers if you like to shoot us a dollar or you can support us freely via either liking this video commenting below or just giving us some suggestions on what you'd like to see what's the next game that you want us to do a spoiler cast with is it far cry 6 or any other new hot titles coming out soon alex thank you for joining me no problem can't wait to do the next spoiler cast with you but till then Welcome back, Achievers, to your 12 Minutes Spoiler Cast. This is a special one today, so we're going to be breaking down the 12 Minutes video game. Alex, how are you? You know you fucked me for a second there. (laughs) I see what you were doing. 12 Minutes. What did you think of the game? I thought it was pretty weird. What did you think? Are we still going? Go Achieve. (laughs) Go Achieve. (laughs) I was so confused. Hey, 